Oh, that assist. Oh, that assist. Van de Beek found himself literally in the right spot, and of course, Hakeem Zayak, with his precision vision, is gonna find him. What is going on guys, it is JJ here back with another Champions League reaction video, this time on the first semi-final of two uh, in the first leg between Tottenham versus Ajax, Spurs versus Ajax getting back down once again, and Ajax, guys, if you enjoy watching football in its purest form, whether it be pure defensive action, whether it be fantastic Ticky tag, one, two touch passes, two dribbles, great, beautiful through balls. Just this IX team. You, you can just watch them. You don't even have to watch them from the end of the visit. Just watch them from what they've done in these Champions League knockout rounds. The football that they play is how this game is meant to be played. And it's so beautiful to watch. I would say that they're a shoe in for, for the Champions League final. And I would say that they're one of the best teams in the Champions League this year. But. The Champions League has been very unpredictable. There's still 90 minutes of football left for these two teams to play, and anything can happen. But we now know what did happen in the first leg. So we're gonna take a look at the Tottenham versus Ajax highlights. And you guys need to let me know your guys' you know, predictions for the second leg between these two teams, what you guys thought of this match. Oh, it's, it was just such a great match. It was a great match. So without further ado, let's get into the highlights. And as well, guys, you can find the original video just down in the description below. So I'll go for 1-1. One, one. Yeah, we're going off for the That stadium. Oh. We'll win this game. I, I, um, will, I will give props. I, I, will give, I will give credit where credit is due. Tottenham, the Tottenham Stadium was well worth the wait. It really was well worth the wait. Sure. That stadium is All right, now certainly beautiful. Call, it really <laughs> is. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the anthem now. And on the other side, you game. This, I, th I feel like this is how I knew uh, Ajax. Not, not that Ajax necessarily going to win, but that Tottenham were just kind of out here just hoping for the best. I mean, the fact that Trippier and Rose were both playing right, left, mid, which, I mean, that happens in a Tottenham system when they play three in the back. But your strike force has gone from the possibility. Uh, of the likes of Harry Kane, it's gone from Sun Young Min, Lucas, uh, to Llorente, a somewhat injured Deli Alley, and Lucas Mora. And Stuart Robson. It was it was one. almost over before it began, in my opinion. Uh, that that just Ajax from top to bottom. That team is just so solid. It really is. They they're just they're just so good, guys. It's not. It's not necessarily. I guess, I guess I should. I should rephrase this. It's not necessarily that this team is the most talented. They're not the most gifted, but they just they play together so well. Also, that Sanchez has his haircut. I, I should get one myself, but. Deli Blind. There's the foul. Get a little quick. Don't lucky touch. Zayek wanted it in this game. You could tell from the off, Hakeem Zayek was ready to play. But at the moment, Spurs can't get near these Ajax players. Oh, that assist. Oh, that assist. Van de Beek found himself literally in the right spot, and of course, Hakeem Zayek with his precision vision is gonna find him like it's it's you he has two options here one of which he knows is offside and of course he decides to fit it in between Danny Rose and Jan Vertonghen two of arguably some of the best better defenders in the Premier League and he found a way he found a way oh just that this football rather rather than like you know like having to hold on to it. They they know where each other they can anticipate where each other are gonna be. And they can play this beautiful one touch game. <laughs> Danny Rose does not care. He does not care. 
You got to get big when you go against Danny Rose. He does, he's, he's a man. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I, I really thought, I thought right here they were for sure getting a second. Because I thought Neres is going to win that foot race. But uh, Van de Beek went for goal instead. He should have tramped it. He should have gone back to Neres. That that's what Yolente is in for. He's got to put a better, he, he, if, he, if he takes a half step back, I think he gets a more powerful header on that. Because that is dreadful. Yeah, is it like Spurs fans, like just like yeah. And then this, this is, this is the scary moment. So obviously, I made a video uh, about this uh, on the channel. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Uh, it's it's so far it has not been received very well, and I think that's mainly because people don't like get at the point that I'm trying to get at. What I'm saying is, while I understand why Ian Vertonghen would want to come back on the field. He received his concussion, or, or what is, is said to be a concussion, right there. There's no, it comes later. There's no, oh, he gets concussion symptoms later. When you get a concussion, it starts at the point of impact. And he did not sit out long enough, in my opinion, for them to even notice that. Like, they, they, they didn't have the time. And, and he, I know he, he did, he came back into the game. Uh, eventually, he was taken out, rightfully, by the referee. But it was just, it was one of those things where, I was left thinking about it the entirety of halftime and pretty much after the game as well. It was like nagging in my brain. Just like, because concussions, I've had a couple. I've had a couple, and it's, it's, they're, ne they're never good. And I've had, a, I've had two where I've lost sight in both my eyes about 30 minutes after the original impact. And it, you don't realize it until it happens. But I'm sorry, I, that, that's the end of my spiel on that. I, I didn't mean to uh, mar the video. Now, otherwise, Onana was very good in this game. He didn't have much to do, realistically. But it taught them only have, what, two shots on target? This is the thing. Lucas is just left to do everything by himself. If Cristiano Ronaldo can't do it, if, if Vasquez can't do it, Asensio can't do it, Benzema can't do it, what makes you think Lucas Mora is going to be able to walk through Ajax's defense? He's not going to. He's not going to. Yolente did his best, I'll admit. But Ajax in this second half especially, well, I guess the, the end of the first half, going into the second half, they were a brick. They, they, were, they were impenetrable. Delete, delete my guy. That was a good shot. That was a good shot. Deli Alley, Deli Alley was kind of uh, here and there in this game, in my opinion. They let him float around, which is kind of his thing, but it just didn't work. Danny Rose. I, I stick I stick with the thing that I think Danny Rose is one of the best defenders, at least one-on-one -on -one defenders in the Premier League. Uh, I, I've always I've always thought about it ever since Rio Ferdinand like hinted to it. And, I mean... To a degree, Danny Rose does really do a good job. It's just his personality is corrosive to some people. Yeah, yeah. Headers weren't going. They really weren't going in this game for Tottenham. Spurs, mate, it's unlucky. That one I thought was the one. I thought Deli Ali was on that. There's Danny Rose. That was clean, too. I did not think there was any problem in that. I mean, I, he does collab with the goalkeeper, so there could there could be a problem with it. But at the same time, I didn't think there was a lot of connection between the two. So, it's it's whatever. It really is whatever, though. I mean, but other other than that, guys, there, this game, for all intents and purposes, was really a great highlight to show you how good this Ajax team really are. Because Tottenham are one of the Premier League's best teams. I mean, they're one of the best teams in the world. They went through one of arguably the best playing teams in Man City. Uh, and now they're facing an Ajax team who are trying to achieve a very like-minded style to what Pep Guardiola wants. Uh, and this this Ajax team is just doing it flawlessly. They, they just look so smooth. They had several opportunities to go two goal up, three goal up. I thought the Van de Beek shot where he could have 
checked it back to Neres. That could have been goal two. Tadic had a goal that he nearly set up for number three. Uh, but you guys need to let me know your thoughts. Let me know some of your th predictions for the second game. I, I don't quite know if Sun Yong Min will be back for that game. I know there's no chance Harry Kane will be back. But this Tottenham team, they need a spark. They really need a spark uh, for their team. They, they need something to help them out because... I, I said it. I said it going into the prediction video that them losing one 0 to West Ham at home did not look well for them when they went up against the IX team who had even more energy, and it, it kind of showed in this game. IX were just all over the place. Uh, but let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below about the Spurs IX match, as well if you guys uh, would like to see a prediction video for the Barcelona Liverpool game. Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your guys' thoughts on the second leg. Peace.